Good evening, everyone. It's Dave Juno. I hope you had a great weekend. It's Sunday night. You know, we're all getting ready for Monday, and yeah, Monday. Ugh. Everybody hates Mondays. Even people who are disabled and can't work anymore still hate Mondays. <laughs> I will say that I have not lost my lost my thought of hating Mondays. Um. So I wanted to make a video tonight. Um. So maybe people. You can, you will, if you, you know, many, if you have meniers or vestibular migraines or, or balance problem, you might understand why you get tired. Okay? And also, um, people who do watch this who don't have meniers, but they, maybe their family members do or a friend does, um, you might understand why sometimes they're tired. Okay? And that's one thing I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about something else after that. So... Today was the first day I ever did a live feed um, for my church. Um, that was on Wi-Fi. That was on an old, crappy computer uh, using the camera I'm using right now. So here's the scenario. I'm up on a second floor about 20, 30 feet up. Okay, but it's not really a second floor. It's almost like a balcony. It's quite a loft. So I'm already up high, so heights kind of bother me with, with um, balance. Now, I'm looking at two cameras, I mean two screens. The screen on the camera, which I'm talking to you on right now, and then my laptop screen. I didn't, I should, probably should have brought my <laughs> regular PC because it came out kind of junky. But it was for the first time, hey, it was no problem the way it came out. I'm looking at that. Now, I'm looking down on the altar to see what everybody's doing. Because either somebody's singing, somebody's reading, the priest is doing a homily. Everything is different. So uh, while I'm looking at two screens, I'm adjusting a camera. Uh, I'm balancing. And you got to admit, it's a ledge. I'm, you know, it's a ledge there. It's a wall. It's a little half wall. And so I'm like this, you know, with the camera looking. And I can very easily, if I lose my balance, go over. Thank God I didn't. <laughs> Not that that's funny. So by the time I got home, my ears were roaring from the music. Uh, especially my left one, it's still roaring. Um, exhausted. I was exhausted. And, and it wasn't from all this physical activity that I did. It was from my brain. Okay? Your brain compensates for things that you don't have when it comes to balance. And even hearing for that matter. So my brain is compensating on balance. Okay, my eyes are looking at two screens, which is part of, believe it or not, it is part of your balance system. There's three, three things to your balance system. Your ears, your eyes, and your knees. So, my brain is trying to balance. I'm focusing on three things at once. So, yeah, by the time I got home, my ears were worn, I was spinning. <coughs> Excuse me, because my brain was basically overcompensating for all the sensory that was coming in and all the thinking I had to do at once. Because even at one point, um, the Bluetooth microphone kept cutting out. So I had to figure that out on the fly. And, and you know, I've never done a live feed before. I've done live feeds at my house, but that's easy. You just put your webcam up to your computer. Um, but this, I've never done one that, like a production, like you would see in a studio, like on TV. You know, so the Bluetooth went out on that. So now I got I'm running two cameras. I'm looking down, and now I got to fix Bluetooth problem. And I got to do it instant. Luckily, I figured out what it was. It's the stand I was using. Um, the receiver was being blocked by one of the th thick poles, so it was being blocked. So that was that was quick and easy. But if that wasn't easy, I could have been, you know, I'm could have been, you know, doing this. So. That's why you get tired. That's why you have vertigo. That's why you have to rest. Because your brain is literally overcompensating for everything. So, you know, that's that's one thing we got to look at. Okay? So people with meniers and vestibular problems, that's why you get tired. Because your brain really is overcompensating. And, and I've talked to my doctor about this, and my doctor said the same thing. Your brain's overcompensating. It's trying to overcompensate for what you don't have. That's why you can't work. That's why you can't drive a car all the time. That's why you can't do this. That's why you can't do that all the time. 
So, because you need to rest in between. Now, I rested all day today, and tomorrow I probably be uh, another rest day. I might think I might have to run to the store for something. But other than that, it's going to be me sitting on a chair and playing on a computer, maybe making some more videos. Who knows? You never know what might inspire me to make a video. <laughs> Anything can. Um, and that was one scenario. And actually what happened this morning was not the reason that inspired me to make this video. <laughs> it was what happened to happen after. Um, so on that note, so, so you know and people, if your family members or friends have Meniere's disease and they tell you they're tired and they're gonna, they want to go home or they're going to go home, that's why, okay? They, they, their brain is really overcompensating for everything from hearing to balance, and, and it can make you really, really tired. It can make you very, very tired. Um, and it's, it's not an insult. And the best thing you could say to them is, okay, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I hope you get home safe, and I hope you feel better. Because, um, you know, words like that mean a lot. So, you know, and those who have, you know, Arminia's patients, that's why you're tired, you know, plus the sensory overload. You know, let's say you're in a room with, you know, like I'm at a church with 50 people, and, and you know, after Mass, some of them are trying to talk to you, and then you're trying to set up and do all this other stuff, take down, set up something different to do this and that, and, yeah, it... <laughs> It's like, what? You know, it's like that. If you've ever seen that, um, there's a gif of a cat going and then wiggles its ears. <laughs> That's what it's like. So, let's make that clear for people who, um, you know, are new to having been ears or have been ears, don't understand why they're tired. Um, and spouses, family members, uh, partners, friends understand. That's why we're tired. We're not, we're not trying to get out of something. We're not trying to, you know, <laughs> we're not just trying to be homebodies. It's, it's part of our life now. The second thing was after I, when I came home, I had, um, I had had enough. And what I call is enough is I've had enough. I'm shutting, you know, I'm going to bed. Okay. I'm going to my room. Everything's off, phone's off, television's off. I don't put the television on the bedroom. I close the blinds. I shut the ringer off on my home phone in the bedroom. I shut the door. And I don't want, as much as I love my dog, and she's always there when I'm sick, there's just some days I don't want her on the bed with me. And, <laughs> and so I shut the door. I got under the covers, and I it was like 1230 Um and then I woke up at, I woke up like 3.30, quarter four, and I watched the last quarter of the Patriots game, which they won. Yes. Um, they're not going to playoffs, but they won. So <laughs> they finished the season on a high note. Um, but so you check your phone, right? You know, I wake up every morning. And you know, when I wake up every morning, afternoon, whatever. So I'm checking my phone. I'm like, oh, got a message from friend of mine who's she's been in a flare uh for about two weeks and and i really feel bad for her. um you know having having vertigo tax two three times a day i know what that's like and it's awful you know and you become desperate for any type of relief and so she had messaged me and and i hopefully i did calm her down i wish we lived closer so i could go over and see her face to face just to you know reassure her that she'll, she's going to be okay. It's just she's in a flare. Um, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I did calm her down. But the thing is, and this girl didn't do it, and she's very, she's got a very, um, she's very, you know, got a good head on her shoulders. But here's the thing. If you belong to some Facebook groups, which we all do, and, you know, I'm going to post this in Facebook groups because I don't, you know, I'm seeing too many of this stuff. So, I, I mean, I founded three groups, but I do belong to other groups. Um, and they're all good. I mean, the first group I belong to now has like 20,000 members. And it's really big. But you get help and you learn. Because people, um, you know, write about their experience or write how they feel or, or um, things that help them. 
to get through the days. Like, I've done videos on that. I've done write-ups on it. I'm tending to do more video now because uh, the typing has become... I can type very well, but I end up have to correct stuff, and I just, you know, I'm impatient sometimes, especially with writing. So, you know, my friend, I know she's been in a flare, and I, and I don't want her to get desperate. And I could tell from the tone, it's, it's she's starting to. Here's the problem. When you're desperate, you're willing to do anything to feel relief. Well, there are people on Facebook, I don't know who these people are, or who this guy is, and and he and they've got 20 fake accounts because they've and they've managed to slip in my group and they've been immediately removed and blocked are trying to sell you a cure for anything his name is dr sam or dr okie dokie whatever his name is um and i know you're going to see this so you can make all the comments you want um dr sam whoever you are and you got to call this number with 16 digits, which is an overseas number. It's an international number. And the, the funny part is, he does this, he must be doing this in every other group. Because what they're doing is they're fishing. But they must be doing it in every other group. Because if you read his post or his comments, he actually comments, he doesn't make post comments on everybody's comp posts. And Dr. Okie Dokie or Dr. Sam can cure everything, you know, from cancer to, to warts with this medicine that he has. What does that sound like to you? A witch doctor. That's what it sounds like to me. Somebody who's making a promise cure. Somebody who you're going to give your credit card number, your debit card number, to somebody. That you don't know who they are. Now they get your information. Now they drain your bank book. And that's why they're commenting, and that's why they have 20,000 fake accounts. It's called fishing, okay? You know, the reason why it's called fishing and not catching is because you're literally, you got to have the right bait, okay? you got to have the right bait. you got to have the, you know, and the fish don't always bite, okay? But you get that one fish that does. And that's all it takes is one fish. Because I know I do a lot of fishing. And in the springtime, if I can get out and I feel good, you might see some of my fishing pictures. Um... But, you know, you're jiggling the worm, the rubber worm. I use nothing but rubber worms and, and spinnerbaits. I don't use live bait. I just, I'm not going to kill a fish to get a fish um, that I'm going to end up throwing back. So, you know, so you're reeling in, you're jerking, you're reeling in, you're jerking. Well, that's what they're doing. And they're commenting on everybody's post. Oh, Dr. Sam, Dr. Sam, Dr. Sam on everybody's post. Everybody's post. Okay. This is what you got to watch out for, because if you're in that desperate frame of mind, I just want relief. I can't wait for this flare to end. Uh, and, oh, this guy says he can cure everything. Boom. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for that person. So use your head. If there's a, a legitimate doctor posting in a support group, come to me, I can cure you. I don't think so. I know there are doctors that belong to groups, and they give great advice, and they always tell you to see your own doctor, too. They don't tell you to come to them. So I'm not going to go from Walton, Massachusetts, to the Mayo Clinic in, in Minnesota because of Meniere's disease. Okay, there's plenty of specialists in, in Boston, okay, that, that can handle Meniere's. So if you do have a real doctor online... The real doctor's not going to say, come see me, okay? The real doctor's going to say, well, I think you got this, this, and this. I think you should, you know, write this down, call your ENT, make an appointment with him, and discuss it with your doctor, because that's the right thing to do, okay? So please, whatever you do, I know we're in a time of COVID, we're in a time of, of uncertainty, and then you add my ears on, with all the craziness that goes on with that, with the tinnitus and everything, don't be desperate. Don't get so desperate that you're willing to give some guy your credit card number for fake cure. It's a witch doctor cure. Okay? And like I said, you know who you are. You need to knock it off.
you're stealing people's money and that's not a good thing especially with many as these people who a lot of us are on um, budgets and you know you're gonna drain our bank account for a fake cure that's if you send anything at all so you know please you know if you if you're doing something like that talk to your doctor if you're that desperate make a phone call to your doctor tell them you know listen I can't take this I really need to see you that's what my friend did um, and described her some stuff to help her get through um, the attacks the vertigo attacks and, and see that's what I'm talking about she's desperate but she made a phone call to the doctor you gotta talk to your doctor and you gotta do what's best for you but just don't fall for the phoniness don't fall for that person who's got the cure for all okay it reminds me of um, the old westerns um, that I used to watch with my dad you know God rest his soul um, the fav my favorite one was um, the rifleman I think his was I can't, I can't paladin that one was called paladin or was a character the guy with paladin in it was his favorite but I my favorites are rifleman I still watch it today and you know it reminds me of that era when I see these ads it reminds me of that era 1880s where people literally are selling you know whiskey and saying it's going to cure everything um, and it didn't cure anything but could probably give the person cirrhosis of the liver um, <laughs> but that's what it reminds me of when I see these things so please be careful when somebody's trying to sell you something a medicine or a cure okay on Facebook because they're fishing and we all know how Facebook works look at the last election we had you know I mean, there's so many lies were flung on both sides, Republican, Democrat. It didn't matter. Right? It, all of them. Um, all the, the political parties. There was so many lies flung back and forth. Who knows what, what the truth is? Nobody really knows. Um, but it's, it's, it's very similar to that. So on that note, um, until the next time I make a video, my name is Dave Juno. And uh, thank you for watching. And I, I really hope what I tell people, what I'm talking about, actually is helping other people. Because the reason um, I started the web, the YouTube uh, group, is to expand um, awareness. And um, if I'm if I'm hitting one or two people, then um, I, I'm doing good. That's my good job. But if you like what you see, there is going to be different types of videos on here eventually um, of some silly things and, and stuff. Eventually, we'll get to that point. I'm working things out on that end. Um, you know, some comedy or, or, or some other things. Um, you know, probably some music videos with pictures I've taken. Um, so, you know, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm not making a cent from this, to let you know. Um, this is the hobby for me. So, you know, hit the subscribe button if you like. Hit the bell so you can get notifications. And um, I will talk to you all soon. Take care. And I'm Dave Juno. Bye.